Welcome back to Pocahontas. Find out what the newcomers are up to. Be careful. They are not as friendly as John Smith. What? John Smith was friendly? Appa yes, apparently. He was. Well, he did. He did help us push a rock. But he nearly shot a deer because he was <laughs> there. But he stopped because we asked him not to. Nearly killed Bambi's mom. It's okay. It's okay, Dwebs. Yeah. It's okay, Dwebs. Don't worry. Pocahontas showed him the way. All right, Job, you can be Coco, please. Pocahontas, it is not safe outside the village. A white man is our enemy. Oh boy, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna address that. Uh, Dad, you go. <laughs> Preaching oh. to the choir on that one. <laughs> yeah, this is basically what Shiro was talking about in the previous part. There, um, it's a bit. They're not uh, like you and me, so thus they must be evil. Exactly. Go ahead. <laughs> we must find a way to destroy this newcomer. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, they are trying to pillage their land, but whatever. <laughs> it's... Oh, I mean... Oh, I can't have sorry, sorry. I, here, right? um, I was trying to see if he had another dialogue. Go ahead. Go on. Okay, okay. Mm. okay. I don't... Uh, I don't agree with what the people in the uh, story are doing either. But I don't think the answer is kill everybody! <laughs> well, I mean, if someone's trying to kill you, you know, self-defense... So, well, I mean, well, that's the thing, though. They are... What, for, at this point in the story, they all try to kill it, just like a dick thinks. Alright, so yeah, like uh, like you just see, saw, the the wolf spirit allowed me to sneak past him. Oh look, I'm a bear and... Oi, oi, wait, brother bear? Brother How bear? did I get into this game? Yeah, like, no seriously, these bears look like the bears from Brother Bear. That's, be for another seven years. that's, beca that's because, Jova, these, most of these games were actually animated by Disney's Australian studio, which was the studio that made Brother Bear. So these are Disney oh bears. Oh my god, it's all connected, dwibs. The bear cub has climbed the tree in search of something sweet. Honey, well, I mean, obviously. Brother, well, but brother, but brother Bear's a better movie than this anyway, so... I, yeah, I agree. yeah, definitely. Climb the trees and swing between the branches to help the bear cub down. So yeah, now we have to use our our squirrel spirit. And then, and then the squirrel even helps us by, um, by oh, hinting at it. Uh, could yeah. you imagine if um, other franchises needed their main characters to absorb animal spirits to do the most basic things. Like, how would Avatar work? Mm, it wouldn't. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough Hank has to learn the, uh, has to learn the other three elements to, uh, you know, to help, to help, uh, save the day. But, um, you, you have to learn, you have to absorb spirits to learn walking. By, you know, by the time he, he wouldn't even get to, like, the second, uh, the second element you had, you had to trade it before the comet came and um, and everyone died. So there you go. Now we drop the bees and the beehive and okay, fuck the bees. The bear uh, is, takes priority apparently. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll agree with that. Fuck the bees, but uh, yeah. There you go, Mama. There's your cub. Now, could you please give me power? And don't eat us. Thank, thank, thank you for. Now you can maul now people die. alive with these bear powers. Not maul, but you see, you earned the spirit of the bear. What does it do? Uh, yeah. you transport, Press it's, it's A like no near a settler to probably. call the spirit. Careful, only the skinny settler will be frightened because apparently oh, you're. So you, you see, you see, I. Uh, so uh, what's that movie you called? See, you see, you see, We're operating on Nadi's logic. If you're fat, you're courageous. If you're skinny, you're a coward. <laughs> you, you see. Uh, so ba you basically, see. in this universe. All you have to do is gain weight, and then bam, you're immune. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, don't well, you I'm, see I'm the... safe then. Also, Dibs, don't you see? You can pull in new mutants with this one. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, new, new mutants is better than this. Anyway, uh, Shirai, so what do you think of Disney Interactive's idea for a Pocahontas game? It's fine. And that's it. So there you go. As, 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 yeah. the, as the game made clear, the fat settler cannot be scared by the bear spirit. Um, so we had to find other ways to take... Uh, we either go around them, or we found other ways to get him out of the way. Let's see... Hmm, there's a swing there, so I think we probably would need Miko's help. But first, let's go back here. There we are. Again, it's again. It's like one of those things. Like I said, you were like uh, it would be hard to make an action game out of that movie anyway. So I can understand why they went this direction. 
because there's not that really that many set pieces in the in the game in the movie that you can really turn into levels. Not really. Um, so this is probably the best they could come up with. There we are. All right. So well, how, what do we do? Let's try and climb those trees with Miku. See if we find something that can help us. Let's see. Let's go down. Oh, look, a beehive. There we go. That's what we do. Oh my god. Again, the, again, the, we're operating on cartoony logic. Just roll with it. So there you go. So there you go, Dwebs. Here's what you do. If the person is skinny, scare them with a bear spirit. If the person is fat, use bees. God help them if they're allergic and that kills them. The Joba, yeah. that, 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 they're evil. They deserve Remember, her. remember Joba, remember Joba. They're not as Maybe friendly as John Smith, as the game put it, so they're evil. <laughs> have we ever considered that some of them have families to feed? I mean, yeah, okay. Have they considered that we have families, but then, but for okay, some okay. reason, they want to colonize us? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. They were wrong in that regard, too. But two wrongs I'm... don't make a right. That's so yeah, exactly. What that we need a third wrong in the equation. It's like a, a, a it's like Deads, the dead. Dead. Are you gonna grow up to be a supervillain someday? Because with no. that kind of logic, no. you're. I have way too many heroic qualities to do that. Uh, yes, Pedro. Um. Well, Jova, it, it's like the lyrics to Savages uh, s s says. I wonder if they even bleed. Do they bleed? What do you think? Uh, do, do, you, do you Brits bleed? Um, I uh, I cut my hand yesterday at work, so yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And now bleed we bleed tea if you must. You asked. You oh you are you are oh, you bleed tea? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's how much we drink of it. We just stop bleeding it. Okay. So, uh, so Asterix was right with its joke about how the Brits in, are in the middle of a battle and then suddenly stop battling so they can have their afternoon tea. Okay. Yeah, well, we uh, need to, you know, we need to have our, you know, it gets dripped, you know, it gets dripped to us. All right. Plus, Jova, if I had superpowers, the most evil thing I would do is just to mess with you. So, yeah. Not not harm you in a physical way, just like, oh, you dropped your pizza. Show. Too bad. And you wouldn't know it. So yeah, this new next section of the level is actually dark. So sorry, Shira. Uh, no, I was gonna say like it looked like. Wait, am I getting like a low battery notification? What's going on? No, 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 no. This is actually the game. Basically, Shira, here's the idea. This part of the woods are very, very dark. So what we need, we need to find the owl, so she can, so he can, so he can give us the owl spirit, which allows you to see in the dark. I'm not kidding, by the way. <laughs> well, we had to pick up some way to use it. <laughs> okay. So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm not going to... Okay, 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 okay. If I remember correctly... Ah, okay, to be fair, yes. That's kind of how it works, yes. Owls do have awesome night vision. They kind of need to, considering they're, you know, uh, nightly creatures. Um, so, to be fair, this is actually an, a, a power that actually makes sense to get from the owl. So... All right, let's continue. Yeah, as you can see, this is a very slow-paced game. Like, uh, even even though you have the ability to run, Pocahontas takes her sweet time climbing. So, uh, so again, like it definitely is a game that is definitely. Oh, there you go. There's the owl. So, he, well, here's what we do. We have to chase the owl all the way to the top. The game kind of tries to phrase this as a challenge, like the owl is challenging you to climb along with it. But it's not made very clear. Like, in terms of games that... Because, you know, like, games having dark sections, you know, that's pretty normal. But the way they've done this one is just so... It's almost like there was an error yeah. when they were working on this. It's weird. But it's okay, sure, because now we have the Spirit of the Owl. You are in the Spirit of the Owl. Now you can see better in darkness. There you go, see Shira, this is this is what you need to do. You need to find yourself an owl, help it, and she and the owl will give you its spirit. Alright, let's see. Alright, so once again that um the fat garden, for the record, I'm not trying to 
come up with anything. That, that's literally uh, how he's described in the manual, the fat guard. Uh, <laughs> um, so you have to try your best not to... There you go. Now we can scare this guy. I love his cry, by the way. <laughs> He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Totally. He sounded okay to me. Alright, here's the final piece of the necklace. There we go. Oh no, never mind, never mind. There's another piece, never mind. I was I was miscounting. We have one more piece to get. Alright, so it, again, Spirit of the Wolf used, used for stealth, so make sure you stay under here because if the um, if the guard sees you he will shoot you. Which kills you in one hit. So Joe, so, so Joe, what do you think of this rendition of uh, "Listen to Your Heart"? It's fine. <laughs> I'm it. Listen, Listen to Your Heart is one of the is the songs I don't remember. It's the one that <laughs> it's, it's the one that tells Pocahontas, "Listen with your heart, and you will understand." And they literally play that song when Pocahontas, when, when, when Pocahontas doesn't understand John Smith. Then the song plays, and then suddenly she understands him because "Listen with Your Heart" <laughs> transcends language barriers, apparently. <laughs> That's so stupid. Through, isn't there a song called Look Through My Eyes in the Pocahontas? No, 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 that's Butter Bear. That's Butter Bear. Oh. Look Through My Eyes <laughs> is the song, is the song, is the, the Korean credit song that Phil Collins plays. Anyway, whoops. Oh, right. So I'm very well aware. Oh, aware go ahead. that this is my last chance for glory. Sure. If those savages won't let us share in their riches, we shall simply have to take the gold from them by force. <laughs> in your own money. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks, game. I needed that. Is it any surprise we never got him as a villain in Kingdom Hearts? Is, again, is it a surprise we never got a, this world in Kingdom Hearts? Well, actually, didn't Pocahontas show up as one of the princesses of the heart, or...? No. The, po the princesses of heart are Alice, Snow White, uh, Sleeping Beauty, um, Cinderella, um... What are the other ones? Uh... I forgot the other ones. Um, the point is, Pocahontas is not one of them. I never find a w anyone else ever find it weird that Wendy was never made a Disney princess? Like, heck, even Kingdom Hearts kind of lampshades that. <laughs> there we go. Ugh, get out of my way, oh, stupid and box. Now it turns into uh, just around the river bend. Yes, I guess they couldn't. I guess they had. They ran out of songs. Uh, don't mind me, savages. Arm yourselves. We're under attack. Oh boy. Oh Got crap, it. he did see us. Let's run! So yeah, now everybody's battling. Smith has returned to Grandmother Willow. But how, how did he get ahead of us? Climb as high as you can to avoid the settlers. Okay. Let's climb. Okay, nice. I, okay, 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 okay. Again, I gotta give credit to the Disney animators. Whenever the, the skinny soldier is uh, about to shoot, his legs shake. That's a nice touch. Um... Again, the the best. Okay, the best. The, 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 if there's if if nothing else, the presentation of this game is stellar. Like all the Disney games Seriously, at the time. What song are they playing here? Just around the river bend. They're playing that while we're being shot. At. <laughs> My guess is wow. Jova. My, well, as a thing, Jova, none of the songs from the movie really fit this this Why part. Not? So it's kind of hard. Savages? Wouldn't savages have worked better? That's for a thing, that's too? a thing, Jova. They're saving savages for the last level. Which is Pocahontas, oh. Pocahontas racing to against time, so... Seriously though, so just around the river from place when we're being shot at, what a happy-go-lucky moment! To be f well, Jova, let's be fair. The other picks we have are, uh, Colors of the Wind, and... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh god, imagine, yes, colors of the wind, when you sing with all the colors of the... <laughs> <laughs> that's like a joke, to, that's like a joke that Wibbs would make. Um... There's only one color and it's red. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Can you paint with all that's a, okay? That's a, that's, a, that's such a dumb lyric, by the way. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Uh, um, Stephen, the wind is colorless. It's invisible. No, no. no just to see, he's asking for you to paint with invisible paint. Okay, 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 okay. okay. To be Use fair, your imagination. Okay, to, the world. Okay, to be fair, to be fair, Alan Menken has explained that the lyrics are supposed to be a metaphor for can you see the world around you and all its blessings. I get that, but you could have come up with a better lyric for that. All right, got all the entire necklace right there, and now the eagles give me their spirit for free. I'm not kidding; they immediately get their spirit. Get I get it because an eagle represents freedom. And there we are. We have another scene from the movie where they meet under Will and they have their first kiss. Oh boy. And we all know, and if you remember the movie, something's gonna happen right after this kiss. Well, they both get shot. Well, not shot, but... There we are. This is really unfitting music for what's happening right now. It is. Race against the sunrise to save John Smith and bring peace to the land. All right, and now we have Savages as the theme for the last level. Weird, the music sounds so happy leading into right, it. Right, now we have, you know your true path, child. You must only have the courage to follow it. Hurry, the Hurry. fate of John Smith. John Smith depends on you. Yeah, what we You can said. tell because the yeah. background is turned all Use red. Use all your animal powers to beat the sunrise and stop a war from destroying the land. What Whip said. Yeah, yeah basically, Pedro, I know... Um, I know you've been reading this bit, but I've only had one line as John Smith so far. Sure, sure, sure. Um, yeah, hey, like, Wolf. yeah, like uh, that's because Jova, all the animals that have given us our spirits over the course of the game are 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 here to give us hints on what spirit we're supposed to use in each section. Ow. Not oh. to worry, my magical leaf power will save me. Let me explain the power of the eagle. The eagle is the long jump. If you're running and you jump, you do a, 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 the, the, um, the jump will automatically become longer by activating the eagle spirit. That's what it does. So basically, and yes, you can only use the eagle spirit in the final level since you, that, since you only get it at the end of the, of the penultimate level. So... Yeah. Alright. So yeah, just like in the movie, you have to beat the sunrise. You have to get to to the to this place of the sacrifice so that you can stop your dad from killing John Smith before this because remember the idea is that he dies at sunrise. So Don't we you just say that when your father tries to kill your date. Yeah. Uh, I know I, I hate it oh well, I hate it when that happens. Well, actually no, I haven't had that experience, so uh yeah. Alright, let's continue. Oh, well it's a it's a common thing of growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go on. There we are. All right. Yeah. Mm, I wonder if I'm supposed to use the wolf spirit here. Oh, look. I was right. Uh, why do you need to sneak under that, Boca? Why don't you just go over and around? Look, because we because we need to give some kind of use to the wolf spirit. All right. The bear. The bear in its, in its cover here. So that's hinting me that's probably I'm gonna need the bear spirit in a bit. Oh, the dog. Oh boy. Go, Percy. Go. Haha. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's continue. Man, Pokemon has always dives perfectly. <laughs> she, I guess she's had a lot of practice. She should compete in the Olympics. Alright. You know what's weird? I don't think you even needed to use the bear power up that time, despite the bears being there to hint at uh, There's going to be a point later on where you have to use it, naturally. Uh, to be to the to the game's credit, this final level does indeed require you to use all the skills you've learned. So it does feel like a culmination, and there it is, Joe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I love that joke. That's great. I don't know if it's um, Jim Cummings doing it because Jim Cummings is credited as one of the voice actors. Um... Oh, here's another one. All right, almost done. I got a question, actually. Yeah, it's, it's for a, still commentating. Well, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Oh. <gasps> no, don't. Oh. And that's it. Um... <laughs> that's a bit rough. But, oh. Uh... What about anyway. the part where you know John gets shot? 
if we ever like, if, if we ever get back to the PS1 games, which one would you think either? You see, the, is it, sorry, Joe, in this version, John Smith doesn't get shot, so he's able to return just fine, it seems. Oh wait, no, he's leaving for some reason, even though I need to go. Movie. I need to get medical help. Medical help for what? You weren't shot. <laughs> Yeah. I was shot in the movie, yeah. though, damn it. <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations you prevented the war. <laughs> the war will not be going on its schedule. And that's it. That's Pocahontas, and the game. Then, and, that's, and here's the sequel, Pocahontas, the credits. <laughs> Actually, was there a video game based off of Pocahontas 2? No. Not that I'm aware well, of. I mean, least. Well, I mean, there was one based off Little Mermaid too. So. Uh... Oh really? Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the PlayStation games would combine the first and second of the movies. So yeah, that was the Pocahontas game again. So, uh, Shiro, um, what do you think of the game on the second time around? Uh, I don't even remember what my opinion was of it at the time, but. It, it just kind of exists. It's uh, very watered down for understandable reasons. The music at least sounds good and the animation is really nice. But it's just... It's a very... Like, when you compare it to the other Disney games we got during this time, this is... It just kind of pales in comparison overall. Give like me Lion King any day. Like, yeah. the decisions make sense, because, again, like Pedro said, you know, don't really expect an action game from this kind of thing, and I get that, but it's like... Mm, this probably would have been better off getting the storybook treatment like Mulan did. I don't know. I just feel like they didn't need all of this, because we didn't really get much in the end. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Um, as, for, me. as for me... As for me, I mean, it's fine overall. But my uh, my main gripe is that I, I don't I don't mind you know going around collecting power ups, but when it's for like doing basic stuff you can do just fine in other games, like being able to run. <laughs> that's uh, that, that's a bit of an issue. I mean, could you imagine a Crash Bandicoot game where you had to on oh, that's basic Florida. stuff? Oh, no, oh wait, oh, the way you get, there is one. <laughs> isn't there one? Isn't there one of the uh, radical games where you have to unlock the uh, the ability spin? to spin? Yes, Crash yeah, the Titans. Like I mean, I mean, even then, that's still not as bad as having to unlock the main character in X Seven. But uh, you know, not, well, very few things are very few uh, singular things in games are worse than that. Yeah, yeah. Anything but uh, yes, yeah. but um, again, it's it's fine. Music's all right, if but the main theme is really repetitive. Like, like it's like it's not Ghostbusters NES bad or anything, but it's still not. Um, but it still plays way off. And I know it's the theme of the movie, but just just because something is the theme doesn't mean you have to replay it over and over and over again. That's like that's like the that's like the main. Otherwise, you, we could end up with. Um, with like ninety percent of the soundtrack for Super Mario Land Two, <laughs> uh, remixes I know, but it's still the same music. But yeah, that's uh, that's that, that's it. It's fine, but um, but but I really don't think we needed to have to collect something to crawl, All right. or run, or, or I'm, I'm surprised Pocahontas could talk about having to absorb an animal. All right, before we move on to the next person, let me just make a small correction. What I meant was Walt Disney Animation from Florida. Basically, for those who don't know, well, while the studio in Burbank was doing the actual movies themselves, Disney's Florida studio was the one doing the animation for all of these Disney games. Eventually, they got their chance to make their own movie, Mulan, and then they got to also make Brother Bear. There you go. There's your little Disney trivia for the day. Go on, Jova. It's a fine game. It thinks outside the box, I'll give it that. And I guess it doesn't overstay its welcome. I guess like, okay, like the movie itself, it feels like the weird odd man out of the Disney video games in a sense here and there. For better or for worse. But it's not terrible. It's fine. Next. Veggie, what do you think? It's fine. It does something different. Doesn't really seem to be my cup of tea. 
But given the source material, I understand why they felt so limited in what they could do. But I, I feel maybe there could have been a better way of handling it. I agree. Mm -hmm. I mean... Hmm. As for how it adapts the story, I guess it's technically in there, but it it unfortunately falls into that trap of making a few leaps here and there, and not to mention about that, John Smith is just fine at the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you done that? Yeah. All right, that's for me. Yeah, it's 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 a fun game. I do appreciate its attempt to do something different because considering the movie they were given, the developers did the best with what they had. Um. While it is true that it's not going to appeal to some people, I actually do. I actually do kind of enjoy it as a nice change of pace from the other more action-driven uh, Disney games at the time. So it's an it's an it's an interesting take. I do disagree with the whole storybook thing because I will say that um, I don't know the storybook thing. I will, I think for this time for this console, I don't think it would have really. Really context on what the storybook thing is. By uh, the way. She she suggested that this could do what the Mulan game did and go for the storybook type of thing. It was a, it was a storybook slash puzzle game thing. Oh, where you just go from that. scene to scene and do various things. That but it was point and click, is what it was. Yeah, it was a, yeah, puzzle a, storybook game thing. But yeah, yeah go a, ahead. a point and click adventure game. Um, mm, I think I feel I feel like the. I feel like while it is true that the point and click adventure game isn't is, is a, an option, I feel like on the Mega Drive, yeah. This, remember, this was a Mega Drive exclusive, and I don't think point and click adventure game a point and click adventure game would really be something that would appeal to the Genesis audience because there weren't any on that console. And remember, the, the, at, this, at this point in time, point and click adventure games were pretty much PC exclusive. It was only on the PS One that they started coming to consoles. So I feel like this, if they made it in part of the adventure game, it probably wouldn't have had the success it did because it did sell well. But I feel like they, they needed. I feel like they've probably felt okay. Even though we're gonna make it puzzle driven, we still to have it have some kind of a platformer still, because uh, that was kind of the standard at the time. So I can understand why they went for this. It's it's an interesting mix, but I think it worked out fine enough in the end. It's not the best Disney um, licensed game, but trust me, there are far worse. They are far worse than this oh, one. Oh, really? Yes. All you all you have to do is take a look at the Super Nintendo Beauty and the Beast game. We um, have still not seen that one. Don't worry, Jova. We will in time. We will. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, now go out and paint with all the colors of the wind, you youngling. The wind has no colors. That lyric makes no sense. But anyway. Pedro, <laughs> maybe you're just not looking hard enough. It's metaphorical. It's flowery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the point. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. All right, see you, <laughs> see you for the next book. Oh, sorry, see you for whatever Disney game we do next. Yeah. See ya. Yeah.